quantum physics is changing our worldview. Uh, right now, the worldview is scientific materialism, which says everything is matter. Uh, everything is material interactions. Quantum physics is saying uh, that objects uh, are possibilities for consciousness to choose from. So this brings consciousness into the arena. And when you are finished making a logical science based on the idea of consciousness, you find that uh, consciousness is the ground of all being, not matter. Um, so this worldview change has to reflect in our behavior, has to reflect in who we are, in our explorations. Uh, quantum activism is a way of pursuing this idea. It's a way of transforming ourselves according to quantum principles and also our societies according to the same quantum principles so that we can grow together uh, to uh, fulfill the evolutionary um, needs of consciousness. Uh, this new science is giving us uh, new ways of uh, thinking about ourselves that allows us free will, that allows us creativity. Um, the old science uh, was a constriction, was uh, like a straitjacket uh, uh, against our creativity, against our exploration of meaning. The fact, uh, unfortunate fact is that a computer cannot process meaning. So if you believe that we are computing machines, then uh, your meaning exploration is compromised. But uh, quantum physics is forcing us to look at ourselves in a, in a new and different way. It's telling, uh, telling us directly that, look, uh, consciousness uh, can be introduced into science only by recognizing that consciousness is the ground of being and matter exists as possibilities of this consciousness to choose from. But if matter is possibilities of consciousness, then so can the mind be possibilities of consciousness. So in this way, the idea of consciousness as the ground of being integrates both matter and mind. So not only we can in include our material aspects of everything um, into the equation of life, but we can also include the mental, the vital, the supramental, all these things that we experience internally as feeling, thinking, and uh, intuiting. Those things also can be included. This is a tremendous achievement, but it requires activism. Why? Because the uh, scientific materialistic thinking is very entrenched right now. Our, all our social institutions, economics, politics, um, education, health, uh, religion, everything is based on this polarization of ideas of materialism versus spiritualism. Is spirit important? Uh, this polarization is making us um, static, rigid. We cannot move. In order to move, we have to become activists. So quantum activism is my answer to all this, and I think it will be your answer too when you realize that this is one way we can bring not only right thinking, uh, namely the right worldview in our midst that includes consciousness, but also right living and uh, the capacity to earn the right livelihood.